Awesome. Uh, oh. We do have Sasa and Akir stepping up to the plate now. Um, man. I'm very interested to see how this shakes out. We were just talking too, too, too much about Donkey Kong. And it is going to be DK Puff. I remember back in the day, we had a, we had a, we have a local player, uh, Mouth, uh, also known as Bunk, where his DK used to just be Bunk until he changed his tag. Look at that damage. Um, but he would counter pick STJ with this because Peach Puff is just miserable. And you might as well fight back with a back air of your own. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. That should be kill potentially if it was if it was the right hitbox that in a charge. Yeah. You have to like get the hand just directly to get the exactly. up hitbox. So, nice. I used to be a puff main. I I played uh, some of this matchup in the past. Um, this is definitely a matchup where like you kind of just rely primarily on back air because yeah. it does become like a back air war and you win that war for the most part. And then where you get a lot of value is in like early uh, rests that are like just because of his weight, edge yeah. guards. And that's kind of pretty much it. Like it's it's really only those two things. And then trying not to take as much damage as you can. So you're, you're gonna see like a lot of back air and then a lot of like ideally completed edge guards. Like right here, you should be able to cover it. Really good yeah. recovery actually. I will say DK up B, if you get caught in it, does so much damage to like, God, that is a thick monkey. And he's just back. Wow. A great recovery so far. I feel like um, Sasa, she could be using like uh, down air a bit a bit better um, in the edge guard situations because you kind of don't want to get hit by the top of the uppy. So you have to yeah. kind of pull back. And then if you're trying to like do the fair without getting hit, like I think you can just like recycle the down air over and over again. And then like, I could be wrong. It's possible that like you're, that just continues forever. But I don't think it does. It'll at least put you in a better spot. Yeah, it's possible. I know Dawson likes to use that uh, that edge cancel uh, down air a lot. Just like poke you a little bit and then instantly reset. Oh, great stuff there. I love a good down air back here. Oh, Nair of all things. Yeah. See, this is the juicy percent where like stomp kind of up air can, can get a lot of value, especially like on a platform. Or just if you can get that charge going, like you'll just kill. Hey, no knockdown actually. Oh, <laughs> this guy's got tricks. Oh. Akira is, Akira is so fun to watch, and I mean, I, I think a, a big issue Zoss is having is like trying to circle camp. Akira's sharking is so hard to deal with. Okay. Yeah, there, there's a couple things I'm noticing. I think a big one is just not getting value off the edge guards. Um, that is not going to kill. But... No, but still, that's a free 25 or so. Yeah, not getting any meaningful edge guards. Oh, um, struggling to kind of deal with the edge cancels, and then also oh my God. no rest. That's what at we're all. talking about. That's what we're talking about, that big, nasty up air confirm. That's so good. Okay. I think one thing that you can kind of do a bit more is uh, uh, Nair um, can be quite powerful. You can do like Nair rest, you can do Nair grab. Um, yeah. It can kind of contest stuff, but it won't contest the up air. So there's like, there's a lot of little adjustments that she'll need to do. I think she needs more space is the main thing that I'm looking at. Yeah, I feel like she's she's getting sharked a lot, and she's trying to play on platform a little bit too much. There's not been a lot of like playing the horizontal game, not just like strictly holding space and back airing. Uh, Akira's been very good on dealing with like, oh, wait, really? Do we see the swap to Falcon? No. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, you know, I kind of get it because. Yeah. I think uh, the idea here is you live way longer, and then you do close out the edge guards ideally. Um, yeah. And you know, in many ways, DK, Mario, uh, Doctor Mario—they're all kind of just like inferior versions of Falcon. Ness, same thing. Like they have. Yeah. I mean, in in, in a way, but it's I don't think different. I've really seen a Cure's Falcon all that much. This is because uh, normally it's it's just Marth DK. Oh, no jab reset. No jab reset. going raw for damage. Great slide off there. And this is I where think, it's very hard. <laughs> I think this is a bit of a mistake. I, you know, I always feel weird, like, calling out a player who's clearly better than me. But, like, I, I think, like, the DK was working at, to the point where, like, Zasa looked, like, a little lost. Um, yeah. And I think just because you go Dreamland, like, 
I don't know, is it so bad? Like, I guess the kill confirms maybe, like maybe Akir has better knowledge on like, you know, doing like a fully charged punch just won't kill even at like yeah. 60 or something. And then it's like I don't know if the uh, the kill opportunity off a of cargo up throw disappears on this stage, because like maybe Puff gets out after a certain That's percent. what I'm this thinking. This is a fantastic combo. Oh my that god, That is just DI. straight to death. Oh man. Yeah, but yeah like that's kind of what I'm imagining. Okay, you need to kill here. Yep, oh. really good forward smash. I like that a lot. Yeah, full shadow out. You managed to get that. That's an easy cleanup. Both just back to back, ruining, running over each other. All right. Oh yeah, this is the gentleman. So far, I'm I'm liking the Falcon. I mean, y you probably have a better insight than I do on kind of like what Akira's been doing well so far. Oh. Well, that, that was a perfect double jump knee. So that's like an instant double jump knee. Really, really mid, like difficult DI to hit from Zasa there. Because you can't just do like a short hop one to cover that. Oh, oh nice. Wow. Good read on the tech in place. Or like good awareness of the tech in place, rather. Ooh. Well, assist from old Wispy. Getting you a little closer to the blast zone. I mean, I, I think that Falcon has more clear win cons at times. But like, because of how... How much worse is crazy tech? Um, oh, huge. oh no! I respect going for it. Yeah, I I just feel like Falcon on Dreamland is like you have so much more mobility to deal with Puff trying to use those platforms against you, um, and that's really helpful. That is supremely helpful to just like be able to kind of hunt her down a little bit more. And once you get the lead, you get to use the platforms really well as well. Stomp on Plat versus Puff. Just because she can hold up and maybe up air you for it at low percents, it's still really nice to get that free damage when she has a bad approach angle. Um, yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, right back to it. I think uh, I'm kind of feeling Zasa on this game. I feel like she had the right idea. Um, just kind of got a little, a little off kind of where she needed to be. Yeah. But. Okay. Yeah, just trying to follow through here. We get a little push off there, but great DI down to be able to force uh Oh. This is not gonna kill just yet. Yeah. I like how Akira is dealing with uh like wall of pains early. He's just like, get me to the ground, get me out of here, get me actionable or get me in shield, one of the two. Yeah, it's one of those things that I think um newer players struggle to identify when watching melee that like they don't recognize like when a player didn't end up off stage, like there was actually some defensive reasoning for it, you know, like yeah. they DI'd in such a way where like, oh, or they fast fell or something. Like yeah. that can be kind of hard. Even there, like that recovery was like DIing close to the stage and then jumping so you don't have to use an up B or anything. Uh, yeah. That makes Captain Falcon's recovery a lot better because he doesn't have to commit to his actual recovery, even though I don't think it's that bad. But you know what I mean? Like, that kind of stuff? Uh, comparatively to the high tiers. Comparatively. It, I mean, yeah. it's, it's definitely, context, there's, there's a lot of, worse. there's a lot of, like, advancements that have been made by Falcons to be able to, to make it a little bit harder for everybody. But uh, just catch that man at the top of his arc. He'll be fine. True. That's yeah. that's the flow chart for Falco, at least. You just do a full hop. And you try to read the drift. Oh. Not read the drift, react to the drift. Okay. Yeah. This is a healthy lead Akira's cooking up. That's the situation too where like uh as a floaty player you always want to like kind of do the armada and like really hang on to a stock. Especially like Puff can kind of turn uh you know up being at 130% into a lead on her end because she can just kill it like 20. So Oh yeah. I think uh, Zasa needs to like not rush these situations at high percent. Ooh, that might kill him though, just barely does it. He's got such good reactions on these seasonings. He's been really inhaling those. I love the wave dash through. You can't grab Puff, I think, when she's in that, that scrunch from her wave dash. Yeah, um, right but, at the start of it, yeah. yeah. There, there is a height difference compared to just being crouched. Um, yeah, I think low, another thing I've noticed that- profiling should be abolished, um, anyway. Carry on. Yeah, I mean, it's not a great <laughs> Um I think it works out okay in terms of some of the balance, but yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's not a fun that. thing to play now. I'm a Falcon player. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't play this character anymore, so. Yeah, you're um, free now. I'm free, exactly. One of the things I'd kind of like to see from Zasa is as we kind of move into this like 50% range, she's been doing a lot of like up throw, and that hasn't been not giving her like anything at all. You kind of have to do. Uh, oh, man. 
the four throws at times, even if it leads to them like going to the corner, because she'll get like one, one aerial and that's it. Yeah, that's the positioning question, right? Like, is it is it worth it to go for your your lick and get your one and get out, or is it better to just like force the situation over and over again? Because Falcon in the corner, like he's still fairly strong because of how fast he is. Um, it's just it's difficult to get out against Puff when she's further away than oh, Ooh, that, that could have just been a raw rest. Yeah, I think I think he's just better above uh, Puff than kind of like oh that could. Oh, again? Yeah. No. What a heartbreaker way for those Dreamland games to go. Really I used to have sets stuff like that. Here, though. And uh, a couple of people in my region would just be like, you just got to practice this even more. And it, it seems yeah. crazy because you think like, well, I'm just going to like, you know, like, but I, I have those. But then in the clutch moments, you, you miss them. So, yeah. Again, I, that's what I feel like made made Hbox just so much different in 2018 was he was always hitting those. Yeah. Like, out of any puff, it was just like, oh, it's always there. You're never gonna have a moment where he misses those. There's maybe Especially like, one. like, you know, the crouch moment we had, like not hitting that rest, I think is actually totally fine. I think that's a much tighter window yeah. than a lot of people realize because you have to react to it, right? So it's like, yeah. it's really oh, quite no. a tight reaction sometimes. <laughs> But when you get that up air, like there's a there's a juicy like 20 frames to kind of get in a position and and do what you need to do. So, but not trying to be like toxic. Like Zasa, clearly a very good player, made it top six of the game really open. Um, yeah. It's easy to say, just don't mess up. But I constantly do. So, yeah. and that was tighter than it looked actually. That that, again, that one is actually very hard because like with the di down in a way that he was doing and how heavy Doug is. It's a tight window at that percent. It is. I like rewatching it, it would look tighter than I than I kind of in my head yeah. it was. So yeah, a lot yeah. of. But that's the thing is, if you're not comfortable hitting that, like, then maybe you do just go for the second up air. Like, obviously you want to be clutch, but like, I think it's just kind of like having that situational awareness of like, is this too too tight? You know, like, am I yeah. gonna throw? Because. I yeah. mean, if you're at one thirteen as puff, it's like it's either one hit later or we're one hit now and if it's a falcon punch on the miss rest if i hit the rest it's gonna feel great get the dopamine but you know it's uh all right uh it seems we are going to do loser semis before winners finals so we are going to just go ahead and throw a cure in versus aklo cure versus aqua will be very good it's i gonna be weird i i am like I'm loving DK lately. I feel like, I feel like, uh, 